This is a new series of work I call Trophy Wives. I've got three models, trophies, and the hunters who bagged them. You have the sexually active younger women who have been captured by these rich older men. The men are trying to find sort of a new vitality and showing off to their peers by bagging these young women. And the women are leveraging their sexual capital rather than their earning potential to habitate with the older men. In these works, I'm playfully addressing a stereotype. But I'm also interested in the more serious topic of gender politics. So for each of the pair, I've created mythical identities. So this is Heather, and this is Guillermo. Guillermo is a Miami sugar and mining CEO. She's a nightclub dancer, and they've met, they've married, and at some point in their marriage, she decided to put her on the wall. A key part of this work are the taxonomy labels, like those you might find in a natural history museum that list the details about the species, their condition at the time of their death, and the key facts about where the specimen was taken and by whom. Guillermo, for instance, is the owner of Rico's Sugar and Mining Corporation from Miami. His marital status twice prior. Children, three legitimate plus one with his housekeeper, whom he reportedly supports as part of his charitable trust. So this couple, we have Nicole and Roy. Roy is a bond trader in Manhattan. Nicole was a former model. In every taxonomy label, there's a trophy score. And in actual hunting, when you bag a trophy, there's a, you score it based on how much antlers and how many points. In this case, I'm using sort of the score for beautiful women. Nicole's a 9.8. So in the case of each of the hunters, they're photographs of myself. These are actual guns I own. I've had beards and some other prosthetics added. And I wanted to kind of create this sort of self-identity through, in this case, this mythical bond trader of New York. So this trophy wife is named Sabrina, and her hunter is named Barry. She left her job as a vice president at a tech startup to marry an older and wealthy Hollywood man. She felt that her natural beauty was not enough for her, so her cheeks and lips have revealed significant enhancement with Juvederm fillers and traces of Botox. In her stomach at the time of death was found various raw sushi fish, seaweed, and a large quantity of vodka. 
Reportedly, Barry suffered from erectile dysfunction, and she had taken to drinking to dull her sexual appetite. Barry is a film financier. Again, this is me in this case with a bald wig on, bald cap on. So I photograph these in my studio and then put in through Photoshop images that I've taken of the locales. In this case, it's up in Elysian Valley. I like the palm trees and the sort of golden hour. It's both a little humorous and maybe a little sadistic, a little ominous. The trophy wives are part of our culture. Our own president has one. We certainly have seen them over the years where the older men seek the younger women and vice versa. So I thought I would institutionalize this tradition with the series of, of trophy wives that hang on the wall. My artwork is attempting to both poke fun at these societal pairings and at the same time to stimulate some more serious thought around gender politics of male egos and female economic disempowerment and certainly of relationship violence.